Redditors who post nudes of themselves on the internet. Do you ever worry about being caught? If this has happened to you, what was the aftermath? I saw someone I know in real life on FetLife. They had full face pics and kink pics and nude pics. Yeah I totally browsed through their whole profile. I don't know them well either. I have to go to church as part of my job. I support someone who goes. And it was this guy who sometimes leads the choir at the church. I'll never say anything because that's not fair. They don't know me aside from some polite small talk. But it totally makes me chuckle that they have this straight boring church persona when secretly they have this massive duct tape bondage kink. I did tell my friends though. But they don't actually know him in real life so I figure that doesn't hurt anyone. I posted mine because I don't have anyone to look at them or really talk about them with. I struggle with self confidence and posting in our normal nudes was pretty confidence boosting. I'm not worried. My whole head is blocked out and I'm pretty average. Dang. You look fantastic from what I can see. Keep working on your confidence inside because I'm sure others agree that you look great on the outside. I had my nudes hacked from my iCloud, and the person blackmailed me. When I didn't comply they put them up all over the web along with my work information. I had creeps call me at work, call my work's office, I filed a police report and tried to work with internet crimes and they couldn't find who did it. Work knew the whole time and said they were supportive. And then the day I signed my contract for the next year, the pics were sent to work and that was it. They fired me. I tried to get an employment attorney to sue them for wrongful termination but I couldn't afford to fight much. I moved across the country but they follow me. Had them send them to my new job and I still find them everywhere. I don't do nudes. That's an incredibly crappy thing to happen. Some people are just scum. I used to put pictures on FetLife which was just a really great community. I talk in the past tense because I haven't been on there in a long time. Only people who would see them are like-minded people but just in case I never put my face in them. And on a side note my friend found my boob doppelganger on Craigslist once. She had boobs that look just like mine. He originally asked if it was me. A girl we knew from our uni got recognized in FetLife and had to delete it. I guess it's a step worse than being recognized on a sex tape that your ex-boyfriend uploaded due to the nature of the site. I post my nudes on FetLife, a BDSM kinky version of Facebook. Nudes there are akin to selfies with Snapchat's dog face filter. Everywhere to the point where it's no big deal and easy to scroll past. People I know have found me on there. But the beauty of it is hey. They can't shame me for being a member of the kink community. They clearly SRE too if they signed up for FetLife. Most of the time. They just message me and ask if I would mind if they followed me since we know each other. I say no. Go for it. And thank them for being respectful. There's a mutual understanding we won't out each other. I can see all their kinks. They wanna tell everyone that I'm an exhibitionist? Cool. I can tell everyone they're into being led around on a leash. But neither of us will because kink is founded on respect and consent. I suppose there may come a day where a family member finds me. But it hasn't happened yet. If someone was like I found Emily ever after on a kink site. She's into weird crap and posts pictures of herself doing IT. The obvious response would be what were you doing on a kink site looking at pictures of people doing weird crap? People I know have found me on there. But the beauty of it is hey. They can't shame me for being a member of the kink community. They clearly SRE too if they signed up for FetLife. That's exactly it. I've run into people I know from vanilla things at play parties and it's not weird or awkward. It's actually pretty cool to find out that they're into the same stuff you are. Not me, but knew a girl who wasn't allowed on the internet since she was a kid. I thought it bizarre so I asked why. You know how you got those large vertical rectangle ads on the sides of some websites? Turns out her uncle was in one advertising pee. So the aftermath? Uncle can't contact her, even though he did nothing wrong. And technology had advanced so far by the girl's early 20s she is practically computer illiterate for her otherwise tech savvy generation. Apparently she is in contact with her uncle now. He's normal. He just happened to do pee a while. Just thought it was really weird she was punished for his ad. Comma she was punished for his ad. Your uncle is doing pee. You're grounded. My husband and I post pretty often. And we have what many would consider to be a pretty taboo sex life. We don't show our faces, or any of our guests, just because most of us, 
me, especially, are in jobs where people tend to be pretty conservative. Most of our friends know about our posts and sex life, so ironically, we mainly try to keep it on the DL for the people that we don't know that well, that is, co-workers clients. Frankly, if it weren't for our jobs, we wouldn't care how recognizable we were in the pics. Part of the thrill though, I suppose, is about being caught recognized. If someone came up to me IRL and said they liked my pictures, I would just be flattered. Taboo or not you guys seem to have a pretty awesome sex life. Interesting question. I am a photographer, specialized in sensual and nude portraits and I post a lot of my work online. I was recently asked if I'd pose for a friend's photo project, nude shots of photographers who shoot nudes, it's going to be a book in the end. I talked with my wife about it and she, correctly, stated that I never had a problem being nude on a beach or in a sauna, so, I agreed, on both accounts. It's a coffee table book about coffee tables. At my father's workplace one of the people who worked there had made a home video with her boyfriend at the time. This very was made 14 years ago. People from the office found it and started talking flirtatiously with her and started treating her like a W. A truly awful situation to be in. I do not worry about being caught. The day when someone will say to me hey, you posted some nudes online I'll reply I am glad you have seen them. Hope you enjoyed. Exactly my feelings on it. I show my face and my tattoos in my naked pictures on reddit. I am not scared or ashamed. I have taken full ownership of my body and persona, and have even disclosed some material on my personal Instagram. Also, I have written erotic fiction which is published and on my professional portfolio. I've been lucky to work with supportive, progressive employers who have always been open and understanding, same as my friends and family. I was way more nervous about getting caught before I started posting. Now I kind of hope I do get recognized. My BF and I are low-key exhibitionists and like to post solo and together occasionally. The worst has pretty much already happened. A close friend found my photos on her husband's computer so that friendship was over and she immediately told my boyfriend's parents. It was extremely awkward and embarrassing every time I saw them for a while but now it's whatever. I've made peace with the fact the pics are out there and it's likely someone else will see them. But you know what? We all have bodies and I'm not doing anything that people either do or would like to do. And NGL my body is prob my best feature so at least they're flattering pics. I used to worry about it, but now I just don't care. If someone were to say hey, I saw your nude online I would reply with congratulations. If they were to say you have to obey my every command or I'll leak them. I would reply okay, go ahead and post them. Be sure to tag me so I get credit for my body. Human anatomy is normal. Being naked is normal. It's only scandalous to send nudes because people have such weird hangups about sex and nudity. I can understand not wanting people to see you naked. That's valid. But sexuality shouldn't be considered so obscene or shameful that nudes being leaked is a threat. This is a really great way to put it. I post frequently. I always wonder what would happen if I get caught posting in a bathroom or at my uni. I also wonder what my parents or friends would think. I don't really worry much about it because I try to take that extra step to not be recognized and chances are most people have seen my naked body so they wouldn't notice me in yoga pants and a sweater. The chance of it happening is slim but if I do end up being recognized I hope that the person is polite about it and doesn't cause a scene. If someone did find out who I am and tried to use it against me I would just embrace it and do this posting full time. If I for sure am doxxed to the point of never being able to work a professional career. Hope that never happens. I'm a fan. That cartwheel onto a toy video makes me want a partner to try it but at the same time I'm terrified for my penis. Haha. <laughs> I figure that if you've seen one dong you've seen them all. Dude nudes don't get much love and I've never included my face in my nudes, yet. Even still I'd hope someone recognized me, it would make for good conversation. If I ever found a way to not rely on accumulating income from a traditional professional setting then I'd probably consider shooting amateur P. After scrolling our normal nudes I can say that if you've seen one dong you most definitely have not seen them all. Holy crap. Oh no. I realize I'm too late for anyone to actually read this, but I have this one dong pic from several years ago that makes my dong look just like Stella. 
Luminous. It's a wonderful dong pic. My actual penis is pretty okay but this picture seriously makes it look like Michelangelo created it to be the dong of God, extending itself to brush the fingers of a freshly created Adam. Anyway I sent it to a lot of people I wanted to sleep with, only with permission. Unbidden dong pics are freaking gross and terrible and I hate dudes who do that crap. You'll give dong pics a bad name, and apparently someone or several someones broke the holy code of not showing my penis to other people, because a year or two after I took it I saw it on an ad for a gay pee site, then another, and another, and some of those frisky local singles want to meet you ads. So yeah basically one time I took a dong pic that's so good it became famous. I must admit that I'm kinda jealous. Started doing it, under another account OFC, with me and my GF. It's pretty fun. The attention and positivity is very nice and warming, even though we're just average people. Oh well, I am. Sh's a beauty. 3 not worried about being caught cause we never include anything that could identify us. No face. We blur tattoos or things other things that could get us recognized. Nice save there. I used to post a lot on Gone Wild, not this account, or love it was deleted, I had one person I know recognize me and ask me a personal question about how my dog was doing, something only someone who actually knew me would ask, and when I found out who it was, he told me he recognized my smile instantly, I don't believe him but sure okay, I deleted everything after that since apparently I'm recognizable and then the worst thing ever happened, I guess a clickbait website got a hold of my photos before I deleted them and used them for some bulls article titled something like military husband has wife send countdown photos to him returning from war and they showed up all over my facebook and all my friends family's facebook. I had to make up a big thing about taking them for my boyfriend and somehow they got leaked and will never put nudes on the internet again. I'm from a small town so guaranteed I will never live it down. Man I feel bad for you. That website can freak itself with a chainsaw. I used to post kinky big titty goth nudes on FetLife but I have an absolutely terrifying story as to why I deleted my account that is completely unrelated to this question. Anyway, I enjoyed the compliments. If someone I knew found them, I would just know they were also on FetLife and ask them what weird crap they were into. Might spark a fun conversation. Who knows? Okay, I'm intrigued by the terrifying story. I would never show my face. And who would I worry about? My parents don't use Redditle Mayo. E. Don't try browsing my history cause this is my old. And honestly I don't really care who sees me. I kinda like the attention. And I doubt anyone would recognize my body unless they observe every part of my body like a weirdo. No one expects the sweet kind girl in class to do such a thing. Anyway, the idea of people, classmates, secretly knowing how I look like naked really turns me on. That they want to see me naked, without my knowledge. But I doubt that's the case lol. Call me anything you want I don't care. I posted about this before but thought saw this on my main and got back onto this throwaway. I won't go into too much detail about why how but I was exposed to sex pee at a really young age so by 13 I was talking to grown men who didn't care I was 13 and from there it kind of spiraled. I starting sending pictures to people at 15ish and would go on omegle and show off on there. I developed really early on so. When I was 17 I found an online twitter nsw community and started posting pictures of myself there. The only person that knew me I all was one of my best friends and they never said anything about it. I was always scared of someone finding out but I felt like it was the only thing I had control of. Not to mention I got into a really dark space and would punish myself by taking pictures and showing people because it either made me feel better or worse. I stopped for a while when I got closer to 18 and worked on just mental stuff and a couple months after I turned 18 I opened another twitter account and just posted a couple photos. Non nude half nude. I would privately send pictures to people in DMS because I still felt like I had control. Even though I was unsubmissive it made me feel in power cause I knew how what to say or such. I always felt like that person was a separation of who I am. But honestly it was the only time I ever felt in control of myself or what was happening to me. Sorry I keep saying that. Although I realized I was just staying in this endless cycle of self-loathing because of it and deleted my account. 
Not to say I wouldn't do it if I got with a guy girl and felt comfortable but not to strangers anymore. I'm still scared people will find out and think I'm horrible and dirty for doing it. Honestly my bigger fear is someone that saw me finding me or something like that. I know this is a mess of a post so if anyone wants to ask me about anything or wants me to clarify feel free to ask. I hope you are in a better place now, but seriously nothing horrible or dirty. Nothing to be ashamed of. Hope you have a good evening. I've said numerous times to friends that I'm never gonna run for office, so I don't really care. I do keep my face out of them, but I do have pretty recognizable tattoos. No one has ever discovered mine to my knowledge but I have. I have a faint birthmark below the waist that's pretty identifiable, and I remember taking the exact picture. I didn't post it to the internet though. I have no clue how it wound up there, but there's a 0.001% chance that anyone can identify me so my public office run is good to go. I post to Gonyuald often, not on this account, and I don't actually worry as much as I thought I would. I don't show my face or my, very identifiable, hair and I don't have any tattoos, so that eases my mind a lot. Also I wouldn't care all that much if people at my school found out, I'd care more about potential employers faculty and uni programs etc and that's why I'm very careful not to show identifiable features or leave personal touches. The background is always plain, too. In summary it doesn't keep me up at night. I've been recognized twice now which shocked me because the internet is a massive place, but both men were polite they just simply asked. Do you post on reddit I thought I would be embarrassed if it ever happened but honestly, who cares? I post because I enjoy it, it's my body and I can do what I want with it. If I want to delete them I can do that too. I'm not a political figure, nor am I someone who claims to be straight laced. If I'm recognized, so be it. I'm post nudes and you were looking at them. I hope you enjoyed. I have, but I don't show my face or tattoos. Am I worried? Not really. I'm not ashamed of the human body, and the reason others are, still confuses me. Some people I know are aware of what I post, but it's never affected me. I've only seen you on our Elder Scrolls line, so news of this is shocking. I've posted two nudes on Reddit and both times. My face is blocked out. If you wanna see my naked body, go ahead. If celebs can pose naked for the public so can I. I've posted plenty of nudes on Gone Wild. I still do sometimes. Relatively recently one of my classmates asked if I ever posted nudes online and heavily implied he's seen them. I don't know how he recognized me. Because I keep my face out of them. He described what my bedroom looks like to prove it. And he's never seen my bedroom. I said yes. Not even an hour later he was inside me. He's insanely cute so I'd say the aftermath was pretty good. I post all of my nude pictures under a different account. But I'm very well aware that someone could link them back to me so I pretend that everything I post is going to wind up being seen by everyone I know eventually. In my state, Colorado, it's illegal to fire someone for doing lawful activities outside of work. So I fortunately don't have to worry about losing my job. If my family saw them then I'd be embarrassed but I wouldn't be ashamed. And they wouldn't disown me for it even though they probably wouldn't approve. If my co-workers saw them then I'd be embarrassed. But again I wouldn't be ashamed. I've never had anyone I know find out. I think the worst unintended consequence of amateur pee on the web is that an entire generation of people are growing up wanking to women and men without heads face. When they actually get to touch a real person the fact that they can see a face is going to freak them the fuck out. A co-worker recently seen me on reddit and used me as a good example to another co-worker who was on some news site. I know this co-worker's screen name, so I check reddit. Found his pics on our femboys and regret it. Haven't told anyone till now. I only worry about my family finding out. Once someone posted my nudes from my bfc mail. They hacked into his email to get them into a HP chat room we were both in. I only got mad cause they posted them in a kid friendly site. They also posted them on another website a couple times. They got called out for posting the same thing twice. This was when I was 18 or 19. I'm 31 now. I genuinely enjoy taking naughty pics so anyone finds them now we I'm gonna keep doing me. In this thread, men, nudity is no big deal. 
So what if they have seen my photos? Women. I think it is hot to post my photos. Did I have lost friends? Jobs and ruined my reputation over it. My family knows it's my job and I don't have a ton of close friends bc I move around a lot to continue my studies. I was once recognized by my voice back when I did big box cam sites though. It was a friend's crappy boyfriend and he tried to play it off like he'd seen me in a dream. It was awkward. I posted a picture of my dong on craigslist back when the casual encounters section was still a thing. Yes I was one of those guys but it ended up working for me a couple times here and there. I digress. It was just my dong in my hand taken from the pov angle of me from sitting in a chair. Got no legit replies and completely forgot I posted it so I moved on. Like a week later, my friend texted me saying nice dong bro. I didn't know what he was talking about so I asked him what he meant. He sent me a screenshot of the Craigslist ad I had posted. I immediately remembered about it and tried playing it off as not me. What gave it away you might ask. My dresser is covered in stickers that I've accumulated over the years and the dresser was in the background of my photo. Mother recognized it from my room. I still deny to this day that it was my dong. I browsed one day and saw my best friend blowing a dude at the Folsom Street Fair in San Francisco. I was stunned but then was like, haha why am I surprised? I told him. He was like yeah I totally did that send me the link. Used to do nudes. Now not anymore but still post content that could be considered NSW. If someone I know find them I would just tell them to follow me for more content if they like it. I won't call it aftermath. Cause it was actually good stuff that happened but I figured I should share anyway. I used to run a blog that wasn't very popular. More just for my own entertainment and the release since people there aren't really my forte. I never showed my face or location as I was mortified of being caught. It often message other blogs and fool around with them as well. Of course these other people were anonymous as well. But it was nice to have some one to one interaction. People usually chatted once or twice and we would go our separate ways but I had been talking to one person for quite a while. After several months of chatting and the occasional roam with one individual in particular we got a lot more personal and would talk every single day. After some time they casually mentioned their university was on spring break. Cool I was on spring break too. Same part of the world how nice. Oh yeah in the same state. Same school. Wait I know the dorm. Oh yeah I've known James. My roommate. Since grade school. Not sure how we had never met before. In fact at least 4 times we've lined up occasions we were in the same building. But the fact that we got along so well before we even saw each other's face is our own reassuring secret. We've been dating for a couple years now and I think there are plenty more to come. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.